Hey, boss, got a couple of minutes? Hey. Guess who's on his way in? With Davidoff? He just called the office. Arrange him a lunch, he says. He treats the office staff like his uh, uh, personal assistants. He shouldn't be a drain on our resources. Look, I'll, I'll talk to him. Can you let the garage staff know he'll be wandering around down there and make sure we have the usual room set up for him? Yeah, no problem. Roll out the red carpet. Davidoff's in town. Last I heard he was joining us in Singapore, but today he just shows up. Don't let him get to you like this. We'll handle him. <sighs> Remind me why I went into business with him. At least you have an F1 team. For now. Look, he wants us to succeed. Doesn't always feel like it, Cass. Eh, I'll see you in the meeting. Hmm. Yeah. Could you take a look at this, please? Everything else looks fine. It's just about that rear wing. I don't want to sacrifice any more downforce. It's okay, it's your call. Now, let's uh, check the weather again in an hour. Oi, oi! <laughs> Did you miss me? Hello, sis. Hi, bro. Jackson. Devon. How are you, Devon? I am excited. Very excited to be involved again. Now, you, you pretend I'm not here, you carry on, please. Involved? How? Oh, you know, just a uh, little bit of this, a little bit of... Uh... Involved how? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Huh. And what does Andreo say to that? He'll agree, Casper. It's fine. Were they pleased to see you? People are always pleased to see me. And what was on your role? Uh, I guess you might call me a liaison. Yeah, I just, I love to liaise. Dad wanted me to talk to people, keep people's spirits up, give some friendly words of advice, that kind of thing. But uh, it was tough. Yeah, Aiden still had that ego. Still thought he was too good for the team. Wouldn't listen to Casper's advice. That was a problem. And then Andreo he was worried about the future of the team. He had Dad breathing down his neck. And Callie, well... Let's just say Callie wasn't really looking for my advice. The whole thing was a mess. I mean, honestly, I'd only been gone five minutes. Connor Sport teammates not exactly doing each other any favours this afternoon. For me, they're a little bit too close for comfort. What is Aiden playing at? Tell him to back off. OK, Kelly, he knows. Clearly he doesn't know. <sighs> yeah, same old stuff. Jackson really wants to make a move out there, but Mayer, no chance. Not letting him pass. Towards the curve of Grande we go. He's going for it. It's really close. It's too close. There goes Mayer's front wing. Oh, Aiden Jackson, what happened there? 
this now seems like a running theme at Connor Sports. Yes, this race is critical for them. When are they going to just pull themselves together? OK, box please, Kelly. Let's get that wing replaced. This is a joke. Box this lap, please. Box this lap. Yeah, copy. Stop wasn't great, we've lost some time there. Just outside the points. that we're trailing the car ahead by 2.1 seconds. You need to give that place back, I'm afraid. That was an illegal to your teammate ahead is 11.0 seconds.
Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 2.4 seconds. Okay, good work, great pass.
So may have managed to pull it back. But if this continues, we're in real danger of sabotaging their own chances of a decent finish this season. There is so much talent in that team, and yet they're their own worst enemy. The reason they're not making progress is even ridiculous state of affairs. And it's clear that Jackson continues to be the aggressor. Is it personal, Natalie? Well, you know, it does seem that way from the outside looking in, but all I know is they just can't go on like this. Well, what a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers should be incredibly happy with what we achieve out there today. Now, once again, another eventful race out there today for Connor Sport, Kelly. Is the team sabotaging its own chance of a decent finish this season? <laughs> Punditry is your job, Natalie. <laughs> no, I am not here to comment on those kind of narratives. I will stick to driving the car, thank you. Everyone is talking about Devon's return to Connor Sport today. So is it good to have him back around again? I mean, never tell him I said this, but uh, I don't mind having him around. Um, he's the most infuriating person I've ever met, but he knows the sport as well as anyone, and it'll be good to have his input. Tell us, if you can, about this rumor circulating about a rift between you and your father, Davidoff. Sorry to disappoint, but no, that's not true. He really cares about the team and he wants me to do well. Um, it may be fun to say that there's a rift in Connor Sport, especially when there's family involved, but it's just simply not the case. Now, obviously, myself excluded, you developed a little bit of a reputation for being short with the press. Tell me, honestly, do you regret that in any way? Um, look, I'm not here to talk about that, Natalie. Uh, if you want to gossip, be my guest, but I'm not joining in. So, no more questions, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Go on then, let's have it. That's no way to answer the phone. Media training rule number one. Say your piece, mother dearest. Um, fine if you want to be like that. You have a problem confronting issues, you'd be better off dealing with them and moving on. There I said it. Have you been talking to my therapist? <laughs> no, but I'm serious, darling. The more you ignore these questions from the media, the more they'll haunt you. <sighs> it's none of their business. But that's where you're wrong, darling. It's quite literally their business. It's how they make their living. Whose side are you on here? Look, I'm trying to help you manage the situation. I know it's not easy. Yeah, you're certainly right about that. Anyway, forgive me for sticking my nose in again. I'll let you go, Cal. Ciao. Casper. Hey, Kelly. I just, I just wanted to apologize. What, why? Well, I, I said I would keep your father away from you, and here you are, in the media, answering all these questions about him all the time. <sighs> it's fine, Cass. They were always going to ask me that stuff. Yeah, I know. But, uh, you know, thanks for bending the truth a little out there. 
It does show the team in a better light. <laughs> I've got no issues lying about something that's none of their business. I'm just sorry that you had to. Don't worry about it, Cass. It's no big deal. Yeah, but it is to me. So, thank you, Kelly. <laughs>